Hi, I'm John Vickers from JD Fitness Concepts, located in Miami Beach, Florida. Today I'd like to talk to all podiatrists about a new innovative technique called muscle activation technique. This is not a sales pitch. This video is 100% educational to help increase your knowledge base and to help your patients when, when you find that sometimes the traditional methods of therapy are not effective. So what is muscle activation technique? Muscle activation technique, it's a way of specifically testing muscles, unlike any other treatment, and improving both the range of motion and the strength at the same time. So how does it work? For example, if I'm looking at someone who comes in with hammer toes, the first thing I'm gonna look at is I'm gonna look at the joints that are gonna support the smaller joints. And what I mean by that is that because the rear part of the foot has bigger muscles uh, and create more of an anchor for the intrinsic muscles to work upon, I need to ensure that those muscles are working fine and that those joints have plenty of range of motion. So what I would do is I would look at uh, plantar flexion, for example, on both the right and the left foot. And then what I will probably see, wherever they have the hammer toes, I'm probably gonna see a limitation in that range of motion. And so with muscle activation technique, um, the main premise is that when there's a limit in range of motion of a joint, then that means that there is that uh, limit in range of motion is secondary to muscular weakness. So I know that when I see a, a limited range of motion, I need to go in and correct the strength of the muscles uh, or muscle that's creating that limited range of motion. So for example, with uh, plantar flexion at the tailor cruel joint, I know that the gastroc, the uh, soleus, tibialis posterior, peroneus longus, uh, peroneus brevis, uh, flexor hallucis uh, longus, and flexor digitorum longus, I know that those muscles create plantar flexion at the tailor cruel joint. So I would go in and I would be able to specifically test each muscle, find the weak muscle or muscles, strengthen them using the MAT process, which is very quick, it's maybe 30 seconds per muscle, and then I would retest the range of motion at the tail accrual joint. The patient should expect to see an increase in the range of motion. So if they don't, then I can go back and I can go through that process again, uh, and again, retest for an increased range of motion. And generally after the second time, that we do see that range of motion increase. So that's the first part in getting that rear foot nice and solid so that it can anchor the forefoot. And I would continue that MAT process because in MAT it has a specific uh, protocol to be able to test the joints of the foot in order to find where that limitation is located. And once you find that limitation, again, you go in, you treat those muscles that create that motion where the limitation is found, and then again you test and make sure that it's up to speed. Usually between three to six treatments, patients see uh, an improvement in their hammer, toe uh, their hammer toe deformity and also the calluses that can form. So with MAT, it's possible to do something that probably four or five years ago was thought to be impossible that you can make a difference with this technique. Now we both know that sometimes um, the, the structural changes in the foot are so great that there's no alternative but, for sur but to have surgery. But for those patients who want to avoid surgery right now, or for those patients that need a conservative approach right now, MAT is a great way to help resolve this issue. If you have any questions, please contact me at johnvickers at jvfitness.com or you can leave a comment below. Thank you.